What's up guys, this is Team Cheesecake and we're here to bring you another character duel like we promised. We're really going to try to keep up on these now. I yeah. Know, sorry, we kind of took a little vacation from... Character deck duels for a bit. Or some of us took a vacation from Yu-Gi-Oh. So we have... You can probably tell if you've been watching, this is Yugi's deck in the yellow sleeves. But who could be in the orange sleeves? If you didn't tell, we kind of try to color code them by how we, what color we feel works with the character. Yeah, like the color they wear, what it seems like. Kaiba wears white, white sleeves, Merrick Sand, dark, so black sleeves, Yugi's yellow hair, everyone knows. No, no need to say more than that. Oh, right, go first. I'll go first. So who is orange? This deck is the one for the Rare Hunter Seeker, who used the triplicate Exodia Six. cards. Now, that's why it's orange. Unlike the anime, though, all my copies are legitimate. No counterfeiting here. And then, of course, you've probably seen this if you watched Blue's ban list. You saw how many copies of the Exodia pieces Blue owns. Blue can make a lot of... Blue could... I'm missing some more heads, but, you know, I could probably make a triplicate of the triplicate deck. Okay. Pot of Greed. Now, we don't, we don't just shove Pot of Greeds and stuff in the Seeker's deck. It's all legit cards that he's used. Yeah, every card in this deck is one that was seen him playing in the anime. From his prominent duel with Yugi, or a brief duel he had with Joey. Or what can be seen when Yugi looks through his deck in the end after uh, he's beaten him. I summon Gazelle. And two face downs. Your turn. I will play Swords of Revealing Light. Of course you would. And monster face down, and I will end. <sighs> sure. I draw. Unlike some of the more prominent characters, like Yugi, who has, you know, really 50 unique cards, Seeker's deck, they're all cards he used, but they're all in du duplicate or triplicate, regardless of how many he actually ran. And that's how we do it with, uh, you know, lesser known characters, was we use all the cards they used, but in more copies to fill in the spaces. Your turn. And then if we really have to, we'll compromise it by adding similar cards in or, you know... Yeah, like, like that's not something that's out of the question going forward. Because <clears throat> there's some characters who just don't have enough. And if you guys really want to see, like, some more obscure character, we could always do that. Like, here's something. We're, we have a concept for Arcana, and they really do not make any of his cards. Not even his Red Dark Magician, which is, exists in Japan. Thanks, Konami. Yeah, what a... Um, so we would give him just... A magician themed deck with like some of the jester cards. Yeah, maybe incorporate with cards he's obviously already played. That's a deck we so. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have ideas floating around. You know, tell us, tell us what you guys think would be good too. You know, yeah, we we do obviously listen to your input, which is why we're trying to do more of these character duels. Yeah, they're obviously popular, and they're fun. Like they're so fun to do. Is that all? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All of Blue's hard work. Finally gets put to use. Again, blue is the driving force behind the character duels. Everyone else is busy playing. Oh, psh, excuse me. Competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Everyone else is playing competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Blue's like, let's let's build decks from the anime. That's what I love. And then just like, pff, yeah, right. Okay, go away, blue. And it's like, oh, look at that. Now we're popular for this. Graceful blue's charity. Blue's revisionist history Grace, there. Graceful charity. Sure. That is not how it happens. That is totally how it happens. Format and I'll play another graceful charity. You would, man. I, I, the swords, that swords and graceful charities. So we have Guido and Burf on that. Mm -hmm. You have five in hand. Mm -hmm. All right, and I will end there. All right, I need to take a chance. Light force sword. Oh boy. This one. So put it face down. And I'll keep Life Force Sword here and give it um, one turn per each turn. So when it gets back the right way, it'll be uh, 
I'll leave it over here. These are your standby phases, I'll give it a turn. That's how we'll keep track. Alright. I'm going to sacrifice my Karibo and my Gazelle for my Dark Magician and play this face down. And I end. And that's it for swords? Yep. Well, I will draw. I will set a monster on. And I'll play swords. Are you kidding me? Where's a dust tornado when you need it? Like in the anime? It's... Your turn. Yeah, I'm really hoping. I'll sacrifice King's Knight for Summon Skull. If you didn't have swords, that'd be blowing through your face stands. Um... Might as well activate Magic Formula and Dark Condition. Giving him 3200 attack. And I end my turn. But before you draw, I'd like to activate Time Seal. In true Yugi fashion. Well, I'll I just end. I'll turn Life Force Sword again. Oh, that was one turn. Yeah, I know, I know. I can count, thank you. One more face down. And I end my turn. Life Force Sword. You'll get it next turn. I'll end my turn. I draw. This is turn two for swords. This is... This will be turn three. Is it? Yeah, because you didn't turn it last turn. Oh. But it doesn't matter because it's Dust Tornado. <laughs> I'm getting everything you got to fight Exodia. You just need Alpha. Summon Skull. Dark Magician. <sighs> Alright. Man, I'm so nervous that you'll just draw into the pieces or that's like the last piece you need. Your turn. I get my card back? Yep. And... Ooh. I'm afraid you're getting close. I'm so worried. Well, I'll play swords. Oh my god. And I really should have saved that Dust Tornado. And... It's your turn. I was thinking, like, what are the odds he'll draw all three swords? Well, better than the odds of drawing all three graceful charities, and I get two. Alright, your turn. That's turn one. I hope you've duplicate pieces. Your turn. Beta, the Magnet Warrior. Oh, that's so shiny and pretty. Alright, your turn. Man, I'm so nervous. That's I almost broke down. through. This deck is good at clenching its anus. <laughs> it's yeah. This is the last turn for swords. I'll play one more face down and end. Now I'm completely out of swords because I don't have more than three copies. I have no way right. to turn to my hand. <laughs> I, think I, I, I think hopefully if he doesn't draw Exodia, I can do this. Maybe. My turn? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I got, your, I got your protection right here. The wall up. Summon Queen's Knight. A full, we both have a full field of monsters. This is pretty interesting. All right. Beta. Nope. All right, so I take 500. Time to try to poke through these face sounds. Queen's Knight. What's your 15? Attack? 500. Oh my god. I don't care about losing life points though, because that's not how you win. All right, I'll have some skull attack, uh, key golem. And Dark Magician will attack that. Oh, of course, there's the gazelle. Alright, it's your turn. Let's play find the gazelle. And... <coughs> shit, just oh my God. got real. Bam! Alright. <clears throat> Alright, well... I tried my best. Good game. I had... That was the easy piece. Oh, I hit all the wrong face downs. That was really, that was really good, though. I... I... I tried my best. Anyway, we hope you guys like that. I mean, um, secret games are usually kind of quick because it's just whether you can break <clears throat> through the defense to draw into Exodia. It doesn't have a terrible win ratio despite being a 40 card deck with only six spells. Three of which are racial charities and another sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, it actually, the deck actually works pretty well. The only, and, um, the only searching it has is Burfomet. That's the only kind of deck thin search searching. Is it? Yeah. It's not a terrible deck. No, it really I isn't. And, um, yeah, well, we're going to keep bringing you character deck duels, we're going to do profiles of the decks, because I think the only ones we've done are uh, Yugi and Joey's profiles. So, yeah, look for all that to come, and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.